All right, in photogrammetry, you could never capture this surface because it's too shiny. It's got a reflection in it. So what we would have to do is take it and spray it with something in order to make that work. So I would have to spray it with... something that would stick to the surface. And it has to come off with standard like brushes or water or something like that because it could be a museum grade something and I would need to come off the surface and not damage the part. So here's what happens. Let me show you another example of what happens when you don't do this. See that tooth? That tooth is ugly. Look at the rest of the mesh though. It's beautiful. Look at all the detail. So it also has to have a fine grain in order to capture all the detail of the model. So uh, to go into every crack and crevice and still be good. So in this case, yes, look at the inside of the nose. Look at this, beautiful. That tooth is awful, okay? Well, I forgot to spray the tooth and I'll show you why. See the models at an angle and yeah to get an airbrush up in here boop, boop, yep not working so i had to basically coat the model again and then reshoot the entire thing but i wanted to take the opportunity to show you what happens in photogrammetry when there is a reflection there's also translucency that's a problem so you can see this bone in the back here uh, you can see how the light is going through the bone okay so the spray actually counteracts that quite a bit too. It was way worse than this before. Let's say a wing on a bug. Well, a wing on a bug is super translucent. This spray would counteract that and allow you to scan the wing of the bug. The difference is it will not come off the bug. It comes off of metal. It comes off of every surface that's like very flat um, or has slight texture and comes off with just water. It doesn't even have to be soapy water. But when it comes down to insects and fur and stuff like that, it, they will not survive this process. You still get a good scan though. So I will put a link below on how to make gallons of this. Uh, I'm selling the recipe and here's why. I, see, I saw a can of this stuff for 40 bucks, but I just reverse engineered it and boom, I can make it with standard, products you can find at your local grocery store. So, I hope you enjoy. Here's the stuff. Here's how to spray it.